Happy New Year, Bison Wrestling fans. It's time to talk Bison Wrestling. Head coach Roger Kish is joining me. I'm Jeremy Jorgensen, and we're going to set up a monster week for Bison Wrestling. Iowa State and Pitt are coming in for duels, but we want to look back first, coach. Uh, you had a busy time yeah. over the holidays there. Right before Christmas, Oregon State comes in here. You dominated those guys. That was a great duel for you. Yeah, it was good. Uh, you know, Oregon State's got a good team. They 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 were uh, they were probably out a couple of their their top guys. Um, however, there were some great matches still, and, and it was probably highlighted by 125 Ronnie Brester. He's you know a top two or three guy in the country, and Brent Fleetwood another top ten guy. And uh, you know they put on a great show and end up uh, end up getting the uh, you know a, a big pin there. But uh, it was a great match. I think it was a, a good opportunity for Brent in, in, in his growing process as he continues uh, you know down this road here. So uh, we're happy about the performance and uh, it was it was a good way to to, to finish the uh, uh, you know before Christmas season so yeah, exactly. and uh, give these guys a little bit break uh, and, and get them back here uh, after after the holidays short couple days off yep. and then you were off to the South Beach duels and then that that's when that storm hit too uh, so you had to navigate that a little bit uh, when yep. the storm hit Fargo and you're traveling out and trying to get guys back in that was an interesting little predicament yeah you know it uh, it's uh, you know Winter in Fargo, you know, you, you got some adversity here and, uh, you know, bringing the guys back for, for workouts here, getting them prepared here before we head out to South Beach was important to us. And, uh, you know, we had, we had, we had a little bit of uh, struggles getting out there and in fact canceled Cornell, uh, missed our day one of competition. We were able to make up our, our uh, one of our dual meets with Indiana on day one. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we caught those guys on day two. But uh, yeah, it's certainly an interesting uh, travel and a little bit of adversity for this, uh, this squad here and uh, you know it was ultimately uh, not not happy about how we competed but uh, the adversity I believe is going to help us in the long run here and figuring some things out. What do you take out of that then so the schedule ends up being three duels in one day it's yeah. West Virginia North Carolina who has a fantastic team top 15 um, and then Indiana you wrestle all three of those back to back mm -hmm. with the altered schedule. Yeah, uh, you know again just another added piece of adversity our guys were up for the challenge and uh, you know, I, I don't think we, we were happy as far as the school, you know, the team goes about how, how they competed. I don't think they were happy with how they necessarily competed, um, you know, but that's part of it. You, you, yeah. you, you know, rarely do you feel well in, in 110% before you go out and compete. So you got to be able to navigate some of those, some of those challenges along the way. And, and I think it was a growing lesson for this squad and, and some of these young guys in addition to, to the upperclassmen. So we learned something about adversity and, and, and being challenged in, in a different aspect. Um, and uh, I, I think we're better for it and we're going to learn, we're going to take some things away and uh, we're, we're going to be better prepared the next time we, we get put in a position like that. All right, by the nation, we're going to challenge you. It's a big week this week. There's two duels, Shields Center, Wednesday night at 7, Saturday at 4. Two fantastic teams coming in here, Iowa State, uh, who is 2-1 uh, Wednesday night, and then Pitt, who has not lost a duel uh, yet. They're 5-0. Oh. Uh, they're also a top-20 team. Sure. So this is uh, it's a tough week, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, these two teams are, are extremely talented. They have a lot of talented individuals on their squads. Uh, and and uh, it's going to be it's going to be dogfight here for for the Bison squad. They're going to have to come to wrestle, wrestle hard, and uh, you know I, I believe we'll we'll give ourselves opportunities to go out and win matches and and, and put ourselves in position to to win these duels. But uh, it's gonna it's gonna take some some good effort and and, and and some big matches here to do that. But at the end of the day, it's going to be a fun a fun couple of evenings, and and our guys I know are getting excited for it. Iowa State uh, two and one. The only loss is a one pointer to Iowa. So what do they yeah. do well? What do they have in their lineup that makes them a tough dual matchup? Uh, you know, I, I think they're just really well rounded. They have a lot of uh, from top to bottom. They're 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 a very talented group of kids, and uh, you know, a few a uh, few really really uh, unique individuals there. And in addition to a couple uh, nice transfers that uh, that were drawn into to Iowa State with that new uh, you know new coaching regime over there. Yeah. So uh, you know, they got a really talented group of guys, and and uh, we're we're gonna see what uh, what we can do. Pitt's in a good area, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Obviously, that's a great wrestling state, yes, and uh, they certainly have some talent as well. Five and zero in duels. Yeah, and, and, and you take a look at that, that area, you know, that whole Pittsburgh area right there. That's you know, heart of heart of wrestling. I mean, that's really really strong bed of of, of wrestling here in high mm -hmm. school, and uh, you know, so every time you get uh, those those groups out of Pennsylvania or those Eastern uh, groups, you know, they're going to have some talented individuals on their squad. They're going to do some unique things. They're going to be really well rounded as wrestlers, and uh, they're they're going to present some challenges. Do the guys uh, enjoy wrestling at home because the crowd is great here? This is a great venue yeah. uh, for wrestling. 
wrestling, they're probably excited to get back in front of the home crowd. I tell you what, it's uh, it's important. Those crowds that we bring in are, are important. Our, our, our fan base, our community is, is really important to us. And these guys, they, they compete well in front of this uh, in, in their, their home their home gym here. Mm -hmm. You know, so it uh, I think they always enjoy the advantage of, of bringing teams to Fargo too. And I think that uh, that goes a long way with these guys. They, 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 you know, that's something they're proud of. Yeah, no doubt. 7 o'clock Wednesday night, Iowa State in the Bison in the Shields Center. Then Saturday, 4 o'clock, Pitt, who's 5-0 and in duels here in the Shields Center. So we'll see you out here this week. Two fantastic duels. We'll recap for uh, those for you next week as well. Have a good one.